welcome back to Average Reactor TV. It's Nathan here. I've literally taken this video twice now. Um, the first time it sucked. I mean, because of the angle of the camera, so I had to scoot back. Sorry if you guys can't hear me that well. And then the second time, I had my scooter sitting right here against this tub. Sorry. And then I went to grab it again, and it fucking spilled, so. I had to clean it up real quick, and so this is our third take. Hopefully this goes well. We're not going to put that there again. I almost just missed, made that mistake again, so fuck me. So, again, we are dipping on fucking Stoker's Wintergreen. Got the tub. Let's get to packing the filter. I already put a filler in, so I'm just gonna put a tiny fucking filler in. Oops, don't say nothing. Because this is literally my third take taking this video. Scrumptious. I really hope the audio is good. I mean, I'm sitting a little ways away from the camera, so hopefully you guys can see me now. I got better lighting coming straight on me this time. In my other video, I was sitting that way, and the lighting was like on half of my face, not the other half. So hopefully, you guys can see me better this time. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce or Indian style areas, however you say that. I don't have no place to put my legs. I'm sitting on bed, so. Yeah, guys. So, um,. Today we have a story time, and just some random rambling, basically. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. So, basically, me and Hunter both have a truck. Hunter's truck is a 1999 Ford Ranger. It's got the single cab, it's five speed, it's got the four banger in it. And uh, we had some good times in that truck. We like to um, do a lot of burnouts in it, a lot of drifting and some, a little bit of off-roading. That truck isn't really good for off-roading. And that's, that's where this comes in. So basically, one day we were going down his road, just cruising. He has his own little road, just looking at his land. And we um, come across the point to where we had to turn around. So we go ahead and turn around. And basically... There's a hill after the road, so like there's a road and then a hill, and we tried to turn down that hill, and got stuck in some mud, and we were trying for like two hours to get out, and we couldn't figure it out, his grandpa was getting pissed, and so probably a week later after the mud dried up, his grandpa went out there with the tractor and pulled him up, so that's good, got old Betsy back, so um, now we're going to go ahead and talk about my truck. My truck is a 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500 single cab. It's got the 5.3 in it and it's automatic. Now I love my truck. I am I love my truck. Okay. But there's an issue with it to where I have to just fully... I, I have to just dump a new engine in it. I got to fix the rear end. I got to... Fix the transfer case. There's a lot of shit wrong with that truck. And I'm thinking about just buying a new one. I really don't want to. I have a lot of memories in that truck. But. Yeah guys. So. Th this is our next story. So today. Oh, not today. A while back ago. We were. Riding around in my truck. And Hunter said like. I have a downhill slope. It's like 45 degree angle. And there's some like rocks coming off the side. And when I, when I take Hunter in there, I like to show off kind of, I guess, and like kind of climb on those rocks and go back down. Well, one day, I turned my truck into a dirt bike. So we went up that rock, and as we were coming down, we kind of stayed at this angle and then fell. And I shit you not, I about pissed myself. I know Hunter about did too. He was scared too. I mean, that, that was a scary day. 
probably fucked my truck up even more than it already is, but she still runs like a champ. I mean, it's a good truck. Don't discriminate just because I have a Chevy for all you Ford lovers, and don't discriminate because he has a Ford for all you Chevy lovers, you know? It's hard to explain, but I, I, I don't like it when people discriminate stuff. I just don't. You know, I might get a little hate for that because I have a rebel flag. But that flag is not discriminative. That's a heritage flag. It's from my southern heritage. I was born and raised in the south. I'm nothing else. That's all I know. And, and I like to show that heritage through the rebel flag. So basically, you know, don't give people hate just because they have a rebel flag. That's all I gotta say, you know. I know Hunter owns a rebel flag. I own a rebel flag. I know several people that own a flag that are nice guys, not discriminative. You know, there's always a selected few that are discriminative against different races, but me and Hunter are not. We do not discriminate different races, anything like that. And we get that label a lot just because we're Southern and Hicks and whatever you guys want to call us, Hicker Billies. Had that one a lot. But no, wait, that that that's a stereotype that a lot of people get, and are, we're, we're trying to be not a part of that stereotype. If that makes any sense at all. I mean, dipping is a southern stereotype, and I embrace it, because I'm a fucking dipper. So, guys, um, yeah, that was basically our story time. A couple rambles right there, and we're going to go ahead and make this video. This is, this is a pretty quick video. And now I'm going to go ahead and end it by saying, you know, go ahead and like it and subscribe, please, if you can. All you guys that are subscribed, we thank you very much. You know, um, go ahead and comment, give us some video ideas, stuff like that, guys. I mean, we're just trying to survive in the YouTube world, you know. And it really helps when you guys want to subscribe to us. So, um, this is Nathan signing off for the Average Racker TV, and we'll see you guys in the next one.